Hello, welcome to the Smart Excel. This is a video which is starting with a calculator, and this video is a, on VAT calculations or value added taxes or any form of tax calculations. So, let's see if I'm going to have a calculation and I have I want to pay a 10k tax, and my VAT amount is 5%. So, what is the payable amount? So, I have to pay as a 500 bucks as a tax so plus the 10 will become something around 10,500 but now if I want to reverse this how will I be if I have already paid the taxes and I have found that there is some uh, calculative error or some sort of emission error of emission how will I be able to recover this and how to do this on the different sort of taxes is all the video about suppose this is my tax amount and i'm going to reverse it so if you want if a normal common man will think it is five it's a five percent minus five percent so if you just have to think about this multiplied by this amount now it's showing is 525 minus 525 and this is a wrong amount and if you just want to go further and add this amounts or if you want to negative minus this amount so you can get a totally wrong answer so what is the correct amount so the correct amount should be 10,000 so it will be 10 case and what is the difference so the difference between this and this So the difference between this and this is 500 bucks. So this is a different amount. Now if again I want to show, do the same format in the other way. So I will not make a negative value. I will be making a, a positive value. 5%. 5%. And I can copy this down to the same formulas. So you can see I am getting the same answers. So now it is going in a different way. So the answer again is 10,000 bucks and the difference is the same. So you can see there is a difference of 25 bucks in these two boards. So this is the amount which is totally wrong and the correct amount is this. So this is on 10,000. Now if you go and make this into 100,000 and you can make, if you know that this is going to be the answer on this so you can see the values are totally devastating and it's totally wrong so i want to show you how to do this in a better way and how to get these things in a better format so let's start with this so here i have made a format of the formula to get the correct answer so total amount with VAT, as I told you, is 10,500. And if suppose it's a 5%, so I'll be making this 5%. 5 and why I'm doing this wrong again and again. And <clears throat> so the VAT amount is the same. So if you multiply this. into this and the total amount this minus this one but the correct amount is now I know it's 10,000 because it's the easy format because I know that this is the correct amount and what is the difference you can see that the difference between this and this amount is just 25 so what is the formula for this so i have made a formula for this so we can understand this in a better sense so the formula for this is correct amount divided by the total amount so if you if you know the correct amount then it's going to be life is going to be a more easier so this is the correct amount 
So the formula is correct amount divided by the total amount, total VAT, total amount with VAT. So the formula over here will be that you can do is this is the correct amount. Divide it, divide it. So this is the correct amount and divided with this amount. So you can see now this is the formula and this is the core of getting this answer. So if you want to test this formula, I have we have made one more sheet, I have made one more sheet on that. So let's test this formula. So I'm going to make this formula again 10,500 and the VAT is 5%, 5% and the VAT as per the new formula. So the new formula VAT is this amount. So what I'll be doing is copy this and I'll be pasting this as a value. So now what I'm going to do is to get the correct amount is this multiplied by the new formula formula and you got the answer now if suppose you want to check that formula again you can do it also the same amount so the VAT amount will be this amount multiplied by this 10,000. Now the total amount will get you the same answer. This plus this. So you got the answer. So this is the formula. So it's a simple one. Just you have to remember that if you know the answer, but if you get the formula. But if you don't know the answer, again you will be in trouble. So for 5% VAT, we can always keep this as a criteria. Now I'm going to pull this down and with some external elements so if i if i want to make this into 600 and if i want to make this 600 and i want to pull this and i want to continue the same 5% and now i know the answer <clears throat> If suppose I put pull the same down, but this is not the correct answer. This is not the correct answer. So if you say ten thousand six hundred, it's totally wrong. So you can see there is a difference in each and every item. But for five percent calculated value, this is the correct answer. Now, if you want to get the right answer, what you have to do is. You can go to any of the formats again 10,700. Just you have to make it 10,700. So the correct time answer for this is 10,190.48. So this one you can copy and you can paste in the correct amount and you can paste value. So you can see this answer and this answer is the same. For 5%, this is going to be the taxable formula so any issue if you want to get answer for 12,000 so this is the formula just make this into 12,000 so the correct answer is 11,428.57 so you can copy this and for 12,000 you can paste in the correct answer so you can see the answer is this this and this will have a same answer. <laughs> we'll have a same answer. So this is the logic and this is the way you can get the formulas in the correct spot. So if you're getting for five percent you get this as the correct answer. Now suppose if you have to have taxes of more than five percent, it should be like six percent, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the I don't want that to happen in but if suppose if your tax values go keep on changing, so a difference from each country to country, so you may have to pay end up paying 30% a value added tax. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever it is. So for that answer, you can do is we can get a different way for that. So I'm going to show you that in how to get value tax on the 
different for uh, different sort of taxations more than five or less than five or whatever it is so this is a, a step we can make in further calculating the vat payable if you already paid a vat we can get the answers so if you have whatever answer if you can have you can have this formula so it doesn't really have to worry about that so this is the correct amount and if you multiply this with five percent right we get the amount over here so this table just was to show you how to do this so this is the main table and here you can calculate the right so i find i think this video is more helpful and uh, this logic was fine after a lot of a lot of calculations and all so if ever if at all if you already paid the taxes and uh, you want to reverse it back i think this is the key to the success of getting it the payable amount and this will be the correct amount so you can repay this and we can get a, you can get you can save the amount so i hope you find this video useful please share this video with others and please make this uh, please uh, give me your comments on this and please subscribe to my channel and let's see in the next video where we will have more than value for the vats thanks for watching